Welcome everybody, there we go, finally, um, sorry for being late, we had some technical difficulties, but um, welcome to the Hona Life, this is episode 55, and please welcome with me Mosin Mohajer from uh, Iran. <laughs> Thank you, Konstantin. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Mohsen, Mo Mohsen Mohajer from Iran. Uh, if you let, let me, I want to say hello to Persian language to my friends. Is it okay? Oh, yeah, definitely. You should do that. Salo Khumin, Mam Mohsen Mohajar Assam, Modaris Lana Wazande Sazani, and Shab in Jada Khedmatuna Sim, Bal Live Streamer, Constantine Rainfield, Va Live Hohner. Here we go. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I didn't understand a word. <laughs> you know, I just say hello and uh, told to my friends that ready for live stream with you. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, uh, I'm not sure if I got to reconnect to the chat, but please say hello in the chat. Um, I'm going to refresh the page. Um, tell us from where you're tuning in. That's always very interesting because we always have people from all over the world. And uh, our guests on these streams are coming from all over the world. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just refreshing. Now I can see everyone here. Definitely some people from Tehran too. That's where you are right now, right? Uh, yeah, I, I'm living in Tehran. So you definitely some fans tuning in from there already in the chat. We have some Argentina in here yeah. and. Um, of course, America, and um, what do you actually call the the written style of uh, of Iranian uh, of the language? Uh, come again, please. What do you call the way of writing out the language? Um, write about Harmonica? Yeah. Uh, we calling the Saz Dahani. Okay. Yeah. We're calling the Saz Dahani. Uh, you know what harmonica is? Harmonica to everywhere, but Iran we call the Saz Dahani. <laughs> Just like that. I'm I'm so apologize to my friends because my language is not good, and if I take a blah 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 blah, I'm sorry for <laughs> for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Bruce is tuning in. Hello, Con and Mosin. Nice to see you again. It has been nice. It has been since crossing and. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So for everybody who doesn't know about Mosin, uh, Mosin is a fantastic harmonica player and teacher from Iran. And I also remember his performances at the World Harmonica Festival and also the Seoul Harmonica Festival. Um, I think bo both in 2017 and 18. When have you been yes. there? Yeah, 2017 in Trossingen and 2018 um, in Seoul International Harmonica Festival. Oh, yeah. And 2019 too. Uh, and uh, I presented in the uh, Harmonica Masters 2018 and 2019 in the Trossingen, you know. And uh, I'm so happy to see you again. And I never think uh, even my dreams that... <laughs> Uh, see like this, something like this. Yeah, this <laughs> is so uh, good to stay in touch with harmonica players from all over the world when harmonica festivals are only happening online, just like the Seoul Harmonica Festival this weekend. You know what? Um, in Iran, um, you have to make the uh, take the visa to come to Germany. And when we come to the Germany for World Harmonica Festival, me and my friend Hesam and... Um, the day, day uh, number one, we don't take the visa. And day two, we take the visa and come to Germany. And when we uh, make to, uh, to the Trossingen, has some go to the stage. <laughs> and yeah. not rest and not uh, repairing and not anything. And me too. But that was a fantastic experience. You know what? I see the, the great harmonica players in the Germany and, and see my masters and uh, and I see to that day uh, harmonica is not limited. 
and Harmon collected all of the world is the unlimited the world, like the galaxies, like the stars. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I definitely feel you because like when I first went to Trossing, it was also like meeting my my stars that I know from YouTube or like from TV, like celebrities, like. <laughs> yeah, you know what? When I um, uh, when I performance in the World Harmony uh, Harmonica Masters in 2019, Mr. Baker uh, behind the microphone told my name. You know, behind the stage, I was so excited shaking my hands oh god steve baker told my name you know i don't see even my dreams that finally i see in something like that the master meister steve baker told my name and behind the stage i told thanks god thanks god finally i make it <laughs> yeah i go to the stage and play performance in my harmony cause with the many friends that uh, present on the stage and uh, make them my best ever night in my life. Yeah, that's and good. I'm so excited uh, because when I the first time uh, that see the Master C Baker, uh, I was young, so young, and uh, told myself, God, can I see this Master finally? And God makes make that for me <laughs> you know i tried That's to so go to trust and I, now just recently you've become a member of the honor family yeah thank you so you know welcome what? and everyone in the chat please welcome most into the honor family yeah thank you thank you uh i say hello to my friends that a uh, present is a live stream and uh, you know uh presently um, I play harmonica in the the uh, music band. Uh, we have the singer name is Reza Yazdani, and uh, Reza Yazdani is a good singer, perfect singer in Iran, and uh, he have uh, many many uh, fans in Iran. Uh, but we don't have the concert not yet. Okay. Because for this case and coronavirus and we have uh, take the everyone take the vaccine after that we go to the concert and <clears throat> sorry and uh, uh, presently we don't have the performance the practice on everything that's uh, connected with the band music band and uh, I think six years ago uh, Mohamed Khorraminejad the leader of the band called me and uh, told me uh, do you want to come to the band I, I told her i told him yeah yeah sure why not um i really love reza yazani and go to the band and perform as a concert make the albums and uh, but unfortunately we have the uh, vaccine problems in iran and coronavirus problem in iran we don't have uh, the concerts we don't uh, have the concert, not yet, but yeah. uh, I'm so happy this case is uh, to be finished. And maybe we again go to the stage, I think. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, and what what kind of music uh, do you play in that setting? What style uh, of music is band, that? In the band? Yeah. Uh, in the uh, Reza Yazani sing uh, the rock. Um, uh, rock, pop, and uh, uh, maybe a little bit uh, uh, country. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, Reza has have the album. The name is uh, "Duel in the Mirror," and I play the soundtrack with harmonica in the uh, album uh, that play the country. In that music, I play the country harmonica. Uh, in Iran, uh, many people like the Persian music, uh, pop music, and uh, you know what? The, we we don't have the many people that like the jazz or blues or country. You know? Yeah. Everybody, uh, everybody wants just play harmonica that be happy. 
something like that. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> no, if, if you if you have the but that's thousand... the beautiful thing about the instrument, right? I mean, it feels good to play the instrument, and yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's good, fantastic yeah. that it makes people happy. It makes me happy, and it makes you happy too. So, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, uh, I have to. I I want to make me happy to all of the, my students. You know, if if I have the thousand students, maybe one or two students uh, want to be a professional player, but nothing yeah. more. Every everyone uh, want uh, come to harmonic class, be just be happy, nothing more. You 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 know that uh, they want play something like that. <laughs> Which sounds beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So you are That's both it. a diatonic and chromatic harmonica player, right? Yeah. So yeah, you know on which of the both instruments did you start out? Mm, come again, please. Uh, what was the first instrument? Did you start out on chromatic or diatonic? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, the first, the, the, my first instrument was a guitar, uh, and I get, played guitar. And the, the uh, harmonica is uh, my second instrument. Uh, but uh, right now, it's harmonica is my first instrument, <laughs> and the guitar is my second instrument. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah, that's a nice transition. Do you think that the guitar still helps you? Um, yeah. when playing harmonica or you know, did it uh, help you to understand like music theory? Yeah. Uh, you know, I put my uh, holder and put uh, my harmonica is the holder and plays guitar and harmonica at the same time. And uh, where is my holder? It's okay. <laughs> it's not a problem. So okay, oh yeah, you're looking for the for the holder. I was just like, here is explode everything. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried that um, to play in Iraq, but I just started to get some guitars. I got an electric guitar, and now I also got an acoustic guitar too. Maybe record yeah. a little bit sometimes, <laughs> um, yeah. but I'm not nice. good. Yes, I can yeah, just play some chords. Um, uh, uh, you want to play something, me? Oh no, I don't want to play guitar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could be, you could be my guitar teacher, I guess. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay. Um. So obviously, like when you started out, um, I guess was YouTube around already when you started out playing harmonica? Or how did you get in touch with the instrument? What was your way of learning it? Um, you want I learn something for the fans? Oh, I'm asking how you learned, how you started out playing the instrument. Ah, learn myself. I'll learn. Okay. Um, my, my first uh, master, the name is Amir Mustavi. Okay. I remember Mustavi is the I think the great harmonica player in Iran is ever. Uh, but I don't uh, where he going and uh, I don't I don't have the news about Amir Mustavi. Uh, Amir Mustavi uh, was uh, in the my uh, teacher and also Hassan. I don't know. Do you do you know Hassan, my friends? I definitely heard about him. Yeah. And he yes. sent the chat. Hey, Hesam, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hesam. And uh, uh, Amir Musavi was uh, the uh, we master, and uh, we I, I was a, uh, Amir Musavi's student. And after that, um, I just practiced uh, uh, myself to myself, and uh, you know. Uh, when I was uh, started to learn in harmonica, is 
technologies not exist. Uh, I just have that just uh, one paper and the Walkman the record my uh, my teacher voice and my my, uh, my my teacher playing the harmonica and I recorded uh, with the Walkman and I come to home just play you know what sometimes is Walkman to be crashed and uh, the voice not playing and uh, I was uh, confused but uh, after that uh, when I find the, the YouTube I search the listens into the YouTube and I found many masters uh, in the world in the harmonica masters and to the workshop I was a uh, uh, Antonio Serrano, the Greg Zlap. Oh yeah. Uh, um, especially Marco Jovanovic. Marco Jovanovic is why my master. And uh, yeah, I, definitely. I love that video of you both jamming out on uh, some yeah. blues. Um, so if you're interested, to check that out. I linked all of uh, Mosin's uh, Instagram and social media links below. And there's a video of you two <laughs> playing. Yes, you know what? I am really, really love to uh, Marko Jovanovic because Marko is so kind master. And um, when I was in Berlin, in the Harmonica School Berlin, and uh, I'm going to the, learn many things from the um, Marko Jovanovic and uh, Marko learned to me everything that he knows and that's way I find out uh, you have just play music and try to enjoy your music if you want to enjoy that your music you have to um, find the five object experience mentality intelligence energy and love you know but i saw the love oh, i like is that the, yeah yes you have to love your instruments you have to make your make to yourself an experience and you have to make yourself mentality and you have to make yourself the energies and many things that you have to be a great harmonica player with your concepts and make your concept, you know. Uh, the first time that we, uh, between the sound check, you ask about me th these pictures, yes? Yeah. You know, um, 20 years ago, uh, I pushed my uh, really great artists that I love, like Ingve Malmsteen. You know Ingve Malmsteen? I don't know. Uh, Inve Malmesi is great harmonica player in the world and he is the artist of the Fender, I think. And uh, I push my, uh, I put my uh, Inve Malmesi picture in my wall. One night I see the picture that told myself that this man don't come from the Mars and he just practice, practice as and make this place and I have the just practice and make to myself yeah make this after that I bring to th that picture as put and uh, told to myself every every um, and, and to ever if I performance the concert I put a photo on my wall and the finally you see that something like this that this is the Harmonica Masters 2019, and this is, um, uh, I think, the Mehdi Modares live concert. This is the Reza Yazdani, and this is my band when I, when I was young and uh, played the guitar, electric guitar with the octave. Octave is my, uh, the name of my band. And uh, but this band is uh, this band is disbanded <laughs> many yeah. years ago. Wow! Yeah, that's a great story about the pictures in the background. 
Um, makes so much sense. Yeah, and everybody who like reached like a professional level at something definitely had to practice at some point. Maybe they aren't practicing right now, <laughs> but That's maybe they just... did practice every day five years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, and just showing up every day is very good. Even if you only have like 20 minutes every day, if you play every day 20 minutes on your instrument, I mean, you do definitely get better. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Uh, with the 20 minutes, you can't make be a professional player. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, I'm you can not definitely sure. make a make a living out of it. Why not? <laughs> yes. You don't have to be the I, best player. <laughs> you know, at least I think at least you have to practice five hours per day. I think. That's what many professionals do or did. Yeah. Yes. And that's five a hours lot. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yes. So when when would you say did you have that period of practicing for that long? You know, you have to practice, I think, 10 years, you know, 10 years, at least five hours per day. And uh, I theory about this practice. I, I think you have uh, to practice the thousand hours uh, if you want uh, the past the students parts. And 10,000 hours to pass to the uh, professional player and uh, 13,000 hours to the, be a unique in the world, you know. Um, I seen your life. So what was uh, like one of the first pieces that you learned on the harmonica or what's a nice beginner t song that you teach to your students? Um, can you play something for us? Uh, play for beginners? Yeah. Uh, tonight? Okay, it's okay. You know what? I uh, Just a melody that you like to show beginners. Uh, you know what? Um, because in Iran, the beginners don't know the music, even the note sheet. Uh, the first of all, I learned the note sheet to my students, uh, but uh, the many people like the tablature, but uh, I believe that tablature uh, make you uh, the confused player because you just see the tablature and don't know what is the notes, you know? After that, I learned um, the note sheet to my students and uh, I just learned to metronome to my students how to use the metronome. <laughs> okay. You know, because the the most the most important problems to all of the my students is the rhythm. Yeah, and at the same time, it's the most important aspect of music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, when I was middle in the Greg's lab uh, workshop, the Greg's lab told to everyone that the most important problem is the rhythm. If you uh, fix your rhythm, you can play the music very, very, very good. And if you lost the rhythm, your instruments is not important. You how to use to uh, make your technique and make your everything that you want. You know, I always tell to my students that uh, you have to play the articulation good, yeah. not the technical. Articulation thing. is a big thing too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know. So, what are some exercises uh, that you do with a metronome? Can you show us something? You know what? I the first of all I uh, show to what is the whole notes, what is the half notes, what is the quarter note. After that, we fixed uh, the metronome on the 16. Mm -hmm. Because 
uh, 16 is a bit per second, and this is the fully understanding uh, for every people that uh, want to learn the harmonica or music. After that, I learned to how to fix your harmonica in your hand and uh, uh, holding and um, mm, a call and how to put your lips under your instruments how to breathing you know the most important problem to the student after the uh, rhythm <laughs> is a breathing you know because the people don't use the nose just the breathing the black here and the breathing go to the down up down up and don't uh, take around in the his mouth and don't use the nose you know uh, i always tell told to my students the when i was play the drawing notes you can uh, use the your notes and mm, make it breathe breathe out and inhale breathe when you have to drawing notes like this see my nose you know okay after that you can make uh the be a better you know you can play something that you want and uh, th this technique use that spirit uh, playing like this <laughs> This is help you to uh, uh, breathing with the nose, you know. If so, you, while playing that passage, that, you you were breathing to through your nose a lot. Yes. Okay. Yes, you know, but but you can't see this because when you practice, 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 uh, many times um, uh, I I don't understand that when I exhale, breathe and inhale, breathe. Because this is automatically this happening for me, you know. And uh, wow, that's interesting. I'm not sure if I'm using my nose that much, to be honest. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my nose is mostly closed. That's interesting. You know what? Mm, I don't think so. In the playing you have to use a nose i think you are the unique <laughs> <laughs> i mean sometimes at least when i'm playing diatonic i'm using my nose as soon as i get too much air in and i have to get rid of some air and if i get back to a blow note after playing a lot of draw notes i use yes, my yes. nose to get rid of more air to you know in the diatonic harmonica, that set the first position uh, in the blues, everything's in the drawing notes. You know, you have to inhale, breathe. You know, just middle in that notes, you can bring uh, breathe, exhale, breathe like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, definitely yeah. an option. That's true. <laughs> you can't cheat between here. <laughs> you can't cheat between here. Uh, in the diatonic harmonica, you can cheat your breath between the notes, but in the chromatic harmonica, you can make this. Because always my student play something like this. <sighs> this is not good. <laughs> okay. You can use note between the drawing notes. This is my theory, you know. Um, I theory about you always use your nose between the playing to handle your breathing, your playing, and everything that you want to make on your instruments. And, uh, you know, uh, I use the passage, the many uh, 
the many passage between my playing like this. Uh, so example, in the uh, uh, Seoul International Harmonica Festival, the 2018, I uh, performed at La Comparsita. You hear about La Comparsita? Yeah, La I, Comparsita mean, I, is... I heard your video again of you playing it in yeah. Seoul. <laughs> you know, everybody played something like this. <laughs> Oh God, this is so boring for me. You know, I like play something like this. Oh, sorry. just play music and try to enjoy that my music and I don't care about the people say something that why you play something like that you <laughs> put the many, many passage between your notes I, I I don't care you know Greg's lab told me about the between uh, workshop and uh, I I asked the question that uh, you know we can make the Persian tuning in the uh, harmonica, diatonic harmonica, can, you, you can make the Persian tuning. I, I perform something uh, Persian music to Greg's lab. Greg's lab told me that is great. You know, I asked the Greg's lab that, uh, do you think this is the out of tune? Greg's lab told me, let me, I tell a story of you. One day, I go into this uh, studio for record uh, the voice. The operator told me, please uh, play something to me to I make to sound check. And Greg's gonna play something. Operator push the button that behind the microphone. Okay, Barry, your instrument is out of the tune. <laughs> you know what? The, the Greg's lab, what answer? You know? I don't know. He told me, who cares? <laughs> 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 you know, when you was playing that you have to play in the many passage, maybe the little bit, one, two, three notes, to make the out of the tune, but who cares? You have to make you understand of your music. You have to enjoy your music. I don't care the people, um, what about, uh, talking about, about my music, that I use many passage between my notes. It's okay. I just like play something like this. You don't like that music, you can turn off that your, uh, uh, that you can unfollow me and can don't, hear my music but yeah and i definitely can't... know some some jazz recordings like with soprano saxophone yeah. i mean some of that is out of tune too <laughs> sometimes <laughs> but it's like you know, uh, all about the feel and the intention so yeah um i think bruce is right in the chat yeah um he feels like your playing is very much influenced uh by Persian music uh, and somebody's asking about your instrument obviously what kind of instrument are you playing uh, my instrument is a Hohner Super 64 performance is a have the great sound and uh, I have this kind of the Super 64 but this is the old but I like, I like this, and I have many diatonic harmonica. Is like just the crossover, and the rocket. You know, rocket is a so good instrument because they have the, the plastic combs and the leak. They don't have the leaks, and uh, this is the A tune. You can play the chord. <laughs> Uh, 
this is so good for playing the chords and and the it's pretty loud harmony. too like when i first <laughs> like played the rocket i definitely noticed that it is louder than a special 20 or a golden melody or whatever <laughs> it is louder um yes the so uh, hank was asking uh, if your harmonicas are customized or do you play them out of the box um in the Diatonic, uh, this is customized by the Joel Anderson. Oh yeah. Yes, uh, but this is uh, this uh, this is fixed by the Hassam Hassam Harpajou. Oh okay. My... Yes, Hassam is a great customizer, harmonica customizer in Iran, and uh, I theory about the Hassam is a great harmonica customizer in the Middle East. Okay. And uh, he can fix every kind of the harmonica you you maybe have the problem. He can help you to fix this. And the Hassam is a great friend for me. And uh, we have to make the team and we work together. But Hassam is not a Tehran, Hassam living in the bubble star, and uh, we have the far away each other. But he is great for her job. Okay. Him, him job. <laughs> him. Yeah, he I was also his... mentioning some Argentinian customizers in the chat. Um, yeah. But do you also set up your harmonicas yourself? Uh, no, no. You know what? Uh, because <laughs> we have the Hassam <laughs> and Hassam makes everything okay. and I don't cost. I, I just playing, you know. But uh, we can fix the little problem like that mm, uh, pushing the wind savers and uh, the this is the uh, the slides and fix the slide problems and wind saver problems. But if you crash your reeds, you have to uh, send your instrument to the Hassam. Hassam fixed for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it definitely makes sense to like know at least a little bit. So you're not like completely lost if you're on stage and something yes. happens or goes wrong or you got to like. You know, I, I, I always uh, bring for uh, with uh, myself the, at least two harmonicas because maybe between the stage your harmonica make a problem and I uh, put my harmonica and bring my new and I have something like this. This is the old but valuable. At least I think the oh, wow, 14... Okay years ago and this is a great but the this instrument broke broken that comes and i have uh sent to Hassan to fix this problem okay yeah you are tired i think you're tired huh hmm? what did you say i think you are tired i'm uh usually not tired this is my time of the day like uh i usually <laughs> like wake up very late and uh, then I'm also going to bed very late. <laughs> okay. But it always like it's always different. Um, I'm gonna wake up very early tomorrow. Uh, yes, which know, is good sometimes. <laughs> but it's different all the time. Yes. But how you know. do we have to have to imagine your day? Um, so. If you wake up in the morning, do you teach a lot right now? Um, do you teach in person or do you teach online only? Yes, you know, uh, for this case, I just uh, teach to online and just two days I go to the academy and uh, in the little time uh, because for coronavirus, I can't connect to each other I cannot connect to each other and uh, you know we have the protects myself <laughs> for this case be over and we have to take the vaccine just just like this and nothing yeah. more okay so Bridget is begging us 
to jam something <laughs> and make some music. Um, do you have anything in mind? Do you have like a maybe a melody from Iran that you could teach to us? Or a song that you would like to jam? I mean, it's hard to jam online. <laughs> But we could okay. like uh, just trade choruses on something. Uh, you know, the most people in Iran like to play something like uh, play the technique. We say the technique in Iran. And actually, this is the effects like the more than like this. Okay. Uh, do you want I teach these problems for fans? Okay. Oh, yeah. Teach me something on the chromatic. I can't play chromatic. <laughs> That's what I can do. <laughs> you know, the first of all, uh, if you want to play on uh, your instruments, you have to uh, fully understand your shit music. Okay. Uh, maybe you want to play something too to easy, The Persian music, like uh, we we called it Sultan Galpa, something like that. That melodies. Oh, I think it's just out of tune. You're playing an A minor. You know, everyone like the play. More than and the notes like this, uh, play the more than an E. Notes more than note. And that's easy on the chromatic. If I want to do that on the diatonic. <laughs> It's hard because of the breathing, the change of breathing direction, <laughs> right? So. Yeah. This is so hard. Yes, this is so difficult to play to diatonic harmonica. It's easy here. Mm. Yeah. Yes, this is easy. You know, and you you make this something like this. I use the more than between the notes, and uh, when you was uh, once use the more than between your notes, uh, you have to play notes more than notes. The, everybody play notes more than more than notes. This is not true. Okay. You have to, you know, <laughs> you know play something like this. I play this. The people played something like this. This is not true. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do... Maybe you want to play a trill, but... Um, yeah, this is free. It's not more If I want to do, like, some of these... Play some of these ornaments or, like, inflections on the diatonic harmonica... Of course, you can fake some stuff, but... Also, what you can use on the chromatic too is just like the side to side movement or just like use the adjacent note on the same breathing direction like I can do that here too right but of course like all the slide stuff and the chromatic stuff you know what it's different. the hold is the big, you know in the chromatic your hold is the biggest than the diatonic and you have to move more on your lips you know in the in the diatonic you can move in the fast and you can move the fast but uh, if you want to move the fast on your harmonica you have to 
move your hand and your head together. You know? Yeah. Many people ask That's definitely me, some good advice yeah. because you have some options, right? If you want to move around on the harmonica, that's what I tell my students always. Like, you, of course, you can like move your head only or you can move the harmonica only. But it's definitely even better to move both at the same time in like opposite directions to just have like less general movement or less distance for both. Um, and then that's a question to you. Maybe you're also using the lower jaw a little to move around. Do you do that? Uh, no, no. You know, I just fix my lips and okay. mouthpiece. Yeah. And just move the hands I had the same time. In the fast playing, okay? You can move your head and hand together. And if you be a practice, you can make it for yourself. And this is just you have to make the practice for beginners. <laughs> yeah. This is not difficult for the beginners. Yeah. Yeah, and just thinking about these uh, chromatic options uh, in terms of ornamentations or like inflections, it's not just about like starting on the um, on the main note you want to play and then going up a half step or something. You could also start out on on the one that's above and then go to the target note. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe you lost you. the target. Maybe like that on the diatonic. Yeah, I think that you uh, you love the diatonic the more than the chromatic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play the chromatic. I mean, sometimes, like very, very seldomly, when people are asking me to play it. Really? Maybe I'm gonna play it this weekend. I will play a concert, <laughs> um, and we're gonna play Stevie Wonder songs only. Mm, that's so great. maybe I'm gonna played for like a few songs but I'm definitely going to solo on the diatonic I'm not going to solo on the chromatic um, you know what in the in in Iran in middle of the concerts uh, the people like to you play the chromatic harmonica and uh, the most people don't fully understanding about the what is the diatonic harmonica you know um, some teachers uh, in Iran, uh, when Bia started in the, her teaching, in teaching or uh, everything that you want, the first time uh, use the diatonic harmonica, but learn the Persian music without bending. Okay, um, I theory, if you want to play Persian music without bending you have to use the chromatic harmonica because you you have uh, you don't need to use the bend and you have to use the slide and make your mm, the sharp and flat notes and this is so easy why you teach with this you know uh, for this you have to make and understand your students that this is not playing for the Persian music without the bending. You know, you have to learn the uh, country, blues and jazz melodies and this is something like that. Uh, the first of all, you have to understand your students that what is the bending? What is the bend? You have to uh, use the bend on this instrument. Okay, I saw many people that use the diatonic harmonica but don't performance the bending. And I sh when I showed that, do you know what is the bending? They looking me confused. What is the bending? Bending is this. This. That ask me, how you gonna do this? I answered well, that you explain, have to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to 
say that e u e u okay so fix your lips so e u e u okay you have to push your tongue the forward and backwards but i mean at the same after, time if you want to play persian music authentically on the chromatic i feel like it also it's also nice to be able to bend because like you can bend on the chromatic too a little less but yes yes you know uh, i always use the bend in the chromatic harmonica yeah is there another uh, and persian the... piece that you could play for us uh, the, uh persian piece yeah okay i i need to choose we have the uh the persian music mm, i perform in the Sultan Galpo and uh, mm, I won't play the John and Mariam. Something okay. the the most people they hear about John and Mariam. Hmm? Notice what I really like was uh, you were playing in A minor again, right? Yeah. So you to get that little inflection was nice that you used like the slide to play the C, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> if you played it on the blow, it would be harder to do that. Um, you know, I always use the key. For make the notes like the A, B, C. I use the C notes with the key and inhale, breathe yeah, like this. It makes sense. You know, um, I I don't block my breath. I just inhale, breathe, and move my instruments like this. You can play uh, play more notes uh, with this effect. Oh. You know? Yeah, same thing on have... playing the F, right? You could just play that on the blow with a slide. Yes. Yes, so yes. that's the same I, on I, the diatonic. I mean, there are some situations where 
I mean, generally, I would always play the two-hole draw because it's the more expressive, but there are some situations where the three-hole blow, which is the same note, comes in handy and makes the pattern pattern more easy or something that would be impossible possible to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everything is possible in the play harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean Everything. that's at least how you how you got to think about the instrument or how, how I want to think about the instrument because like always as soon as I transcribe a solo of whomever um I always discover stuff that works very very well on the harmonica that I didn't think of before um or where I thought oh that that's probably not possible on the harmonica but it is um so yeah <laughs> That's definitely true. Yes. Yes, the trend is true. Yes. Everything is true. Everybody really enjoyed that melody. Yeah, that was beautiful. Um, so if you have any more, some other questions, leave them in the chat. Um, so how would you, um, what, what do you think? What was like the, how would you compare your chromatic playing to the diatonic playing? Are you playing more chromatic nowadays than diatonic? Uh, you know what? Uh, I played the chromatic harmonica more than diatonic harmonica. Okay. But this is not me. I don't play the diatonic harmonica. But you teach uh, both diatonic and chromatic? Yeah. Yes, yes. I teach both diatonic and chromatic. Yes. You know what? But... Uh, I have m maybe three, four, maybe five. I have a students about the diatonic, and but I have a lot students for the chromatic harmonica. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I never really taught chromatic harmonica. I think I had a student on the chromatic at some point, um, <laughs> but it was like how, more like a lesson for how, me. Yeah, how about the Germany? In Germany, the people like the diatonic harmonica. Well, I feel so, yeah. Um, there have been definitely some younger players that started out with me playing the diatonic, but maybe didn't really stick to it. Um, of course, yeah, I'm more like living in the diatonic yeah. harmonica world, but it's all one instrument for me. Um, and I love to have chromatic harmonica players on here. I want to learn some you know, more I, chromatic. <laughs> I believe that the diatonic harmonica is the... Uh, so the flexible uh, instrument in the world because you can play everything that you want to play something and this is the small and uh, you can put this instrument in your pockets yeah. something like this but okay. don't put it in your back pocket <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> everyone like that play something like this in i hope there was enough country music for you <laughs> radin was <laughs> writing into the chat he wanted us to play some country music um that sounded a little country-esque at least um darius is asking if you set up your diatonic to play overblows or does hazem set them up for overblows uh you know uh marco jovanovic told me if you want over uh, play overblow on your instrument you have make a difference the things about your harmonica and when i was in the berlin the marco opened the, these plugs and take away this the cover plates and make something in between on the my instrument yeah but this custom is the 
and right now is not his customized. But uh, he told me, if you want to play overblow on your instrument and uh, beginners, you know, you have to tight your reeds on your plates and maybe you make it over tight. Because yeah. when you was play the overblow, you know, maybe this read the make difference. And if you think this is the read plate, this is a plate, and this is a single read. You have to make the short uh, space between the read plates and your reads. Because if you want to play overblow, maybe this is the cross each other and you make a leak and you don't play the overblow. This is something like that. After that, I asked the Marco Jovanovic that you make all of the, your instruments for uh, making that uh, fix something on your harps. Greg Zilab told me yes. Greg Zilab told me yes, I uh, set up uh, uh, to all of the, my instruments. But Marco told me not for every everyone instrument. Uh, but Greg's lab told me yes. And between in class, um, in the harmonica masters, in between in harmonica masters, uh, Greg's lab bring the harp. And uh, I don't know, this is something like like the wire and push into the harmonica. And I don't know uh, what happened into the harmonica, but fix this something on or harmonica, but I asked, what you gonna do for your instrument? Told me I set up <laughs> the plates and yeah. uh, I don't ask uh, more questions because I know that I knew that uh, Greg Zilab wanted to go to the stage. And, uh, but I know that you have to set up your harmonica. Yeah, and definitely. In, and it's an ongoing process. Like as soon as it's set up, if I get my custom harmonica, I still change something. Um, maybe I have a performance and, um, of course, setting up your harmonica for overblows is always a compromise um, and between like playing like a very strong natural blow note on six, on hole six, for example, and playing a clean six hole overblow. Um, so yeah, if I notice on stage, oh, if I play live, that six hole blow gets stuck. Um, I got to adjust it um, and get in there. <laughs> yes. You know, th this is, this instrument have the many problems between the, the stage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, but I don't know how to fix a chromatic. So I, I got to send mine in because I left, I lost like two wind savers, I think. <laughs> So I can yeah, like is... I can play the F on the blow with the slide, but I lost the valve on the draw, so I can't really can't really bend it. I can just do it on the blow with a slide. You know, this 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 is happened for me middle in the stage. Uh, one day I performed in the concert with the Reza Reza Yazdani, and I played the solo the solo that's in the you you saw my video solo in the uh, Amy Winehouse solo that we call the Sufian Divane, Sufia Divane. And middle in the, my performing, I feel something in middle in the, my mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel I like a, my... a wind saver is better than a reed, right? Yes, been saver. Yeah, I asked how to can, gonna do this. You know, maybe the, that maybe make me to die. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I only I changed broke a read once um, on a C harmonica, where I really went aggressively into the five hole draw. Uh, quite a few times practicing a little water tune like many years ago but that was the only time 
I never broke a reed yeah. on a Hona harmonica. That's some good news. <laughs> yes, I always broke that Honor harmonica every day and send my instrument to Hassan. Hassan fix for me and back to me my instruments. And two weeks later, again, this has happened. Okay. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, this mean is, uh, and this is uh, that mean is not the Honor is not good, but. Uh, Honer is the perfect instrument. I theory about the Honer Super 64 and Super 64 X oh, yeah. performance. I wish I had one of is those. A, yes, is a great harmonica between a chromatic harmonica and the words, and I really, really, really like this instrument. Yeah, this is so, so good. Um, where can people check out your work and your music? Um, what's the best? Where are you most active on Instagram? Should people? Yes, you know, um, my music was in the um, the platform like the SoundCloud and uh, the another platform. I forget the name. Um, the Apple Music, but uh, for the the new rules, the SoundCloud and um, CD Baby and uh, other platform deleted all of my music oh, on the okay. internet. Yes, I just, uh, you can just a little bit, I, my music just in the YouTube and uh, in the, my Instagram. And I want to make a new platform that puts all of the my music and that platform that don't the delete all of that. <laughs> yeah, you know. So everyone well, out there, yeah. check out the description. Um, there are all the links to uh, um, yeah the social media websites to Instagram. Um, and uh, YouTube, of course. You can check out some videos. You can check out Mosin's performance at the Soul Harmonica Festival in 2018. Um, and you can also find the jam with Marco Jovanovic on Instagram. So, um, yeah, follow us on Instagram. And uh, <laughs> it's a great harmonica community on Instagram. I feel like so many harmonica players from Iran are on Instagram. Um, yeah. So it's beautiful to stay in touch. Yes, you, you can see all of the harmonica players in the Instagram because Instagram is the not filtered in Iran, and you can use this. And yeah. um, you can follow me in the my website. My website is mohsenmohajer.com, and I put my news. Uh, on my website, but uh, this is not uh, upgrade, not yet. And uh, because uh, I have the uh, the two peoples that make me uh, the upgrade my websites, but uh, they are the middle in the vacation <laughs> in Iran. And uh, maybe two or three days later, I uh, upgrade my Websites and but every day I upgrade my Instagram and Facebook, and uh, Facebook is little bit because Facebook is filtered in Iran. Yeah, and uh, uh, you can uh, if you want follow me in the every day. I I am in the Instagram, Mohsen underline Mohajer. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, Bruce wrote into the chat. I never knew that there were so many players in Iran. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, also during all the Twitch harmonica challenges that I did, so many great players from Iran submitting recordings. Um, and we're actually doing a Twitch harmonica challenge with another player from Iran this month with Babak Zafanejad um, on October 31st. That should be the last Sunday of October. Is that right? Yeah. And we're going to do a film music challenge. So um, check out the description box below. Um, I don't know about the prices yet. 
I'm going to talk to Hona. Um, maybe we can give uh, our... Maybe it could be a chromatic this time. Um, we'll see. And talking about chromatic harmonica, our next guest on the Hona Live will be a chromatic player too. In two weeks, um, I'm very happy to welcome Tolak Olestad. He lives in the Netherlands. Um, he's from Alaska and uh, the US. Um, and right now, he's performing in the TV show The Voice in the Netherlands. And the finale is tomorrow. So if you live in the Netherlands, you can tune in. Um, maybe we are talking to a winner in two weeks. Um, but yeah, let us know in the chat um, how you liked uh, the live today. Give the video a thumbs up or down. And um, thank you so much, Mosen, for taking the time. Um, it was thank a you. great pleasure to see you again and uh, talk thank to you. you. I'm sorry if my language is not not good. <laughs> it's sorry about my. It's almost better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm glad to see you again, Constantine. And uh, this is my pleasure. And uh, thank you to everyone that present in this live. And thank you to everyone that seeing this video the next times and i hope so you'll be great always safe oh and yes healthy. thank you everyone have a nice evening thank you can i say language are we gonna go back oh yeah of course you can yeah let's do that <laughs> uh, we are in the live yeah we're still live <laughs> دوستای خوب من بچه های همه گه دوستای خوب من که تو این لایف بودید خیلی دوستتون دارم مرسی از انرژی مثبتتون مرسی که این لایف رو دیدید ممنونم از کانستانتین رینگفیلد از آلمان و شب به همه گه شما خوش Thank you Constantine Thank you for Thank you. everything I couldn't have done it better <laughs> Bye everyone <laughs> have a good evening Bye Bye, Bye. Good night